I finished up my uh, installation of the my antennas in fed half wave it is um, 40 meters to 10 meters and uh, I wanted to show it to you because I have also built a little tension spring system that keeps uh, any wires from potentially snapping during high wind so let's have a look This is the end. It's up in a uh, redwood tree that's approximately 35 to 40 feet. And then it's just on a sloper and it's going down and it goes over the top of another tree over here that's about uh, 25 to 30 feet. And so it comes through that tree over here to another tree through this uh, magnolia which it comes on down down you can see the coil here maybe there you go there's the coil one two three four five six winds and then that wire comes on down 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 here to my antenna's transformer right here come up underneath it I don't know if you can see that and you can see how I have it rigged here to a clip it comes up to a pulley and a pulley and then that pulley these pulleys they're mounted on top of a 4x4 four four pole that uh, is about five feet tall and it comes down to this tensioner spring here right here let me see if I can uh, demonstrate this so as the wind blows the cable the antenna wire creates tension and pulls so the cable comes through the two pulley systems and you can see that the spring creates that tension. So why am I doing this? So this 66 foot wire in wind over continual years of use doesn't snap. You can also see uh, I have the ground wire that comes off from the grounding lug and it comes over here to the pole and I had to leave enough tension on it because that grounding wire needs to move with the whole assembly as well because we don't want that snapping but it comes down the grounding wire down the back of the pole here and it comes on down 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 all the way down right here to an eight foot rod for grounding the grounding clamp and that is some uh, number eight gauge solid copper wire so I have to say that this uh, in fed half wave antenna by my antennas is an amazing antenna I don't know what I'm saying right now. Cut. Well, so far this antenna is a great performer. Uh, it was very easy to put up. You only have to have uh, one side and then you sloping it down. At least that's the configuration I'm using it in because that's very simple. Keeping the transformer in at least five feet off the ground. Uh, that's from recommendations from the manufacturer 
And so we're going to take this into the radio room and uh, we're going to go through uh, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters and look at the SWR and uh, see how well this my antenna's in-fed half wave performs. Into the my antenna's CMC 133K uh, frequency range is 1 to 30 megahertz. Maximum power 3kW. I'm not going to have to worry about that. Made in the USA. It's an RF choke, RF isolator, noise suppressor, CMC common mode filter. So it comes in and then it's coming right in to the tuner. Okay, the tuner that I'm using here is the MFJ Versa tuner, the MFJ 941E. Okay, and I'm using my Kenwood TS430S. And I'm going to start uh, about 7.2. 7 I'm going to start here on 40 meters. And we're going to take a look at the SWR. And that's coming in at about 2 at about two to one, more than we like, but I'm working on how to resolve that. Okay, and now we come up to uh, 14.2, which is the 20 meter band, and see what we got here. Very nice. One to three, maybe? About one to three. Now we'll take a look at uh, 21.2, uh, 15 meter band and see what we come up with here. Uh, again, very nice. About 1.2. Now let's try 10 meters. Uh, about a 1.6, 1 1.6 to 1. So, as you can see, uh, all four bands coming in from the in-fed half-wave antenna for my antennas, the 10 to 40, or 40 to 10, going through their common mode choke over here, into the tuner, going through the Kenwood TS430S. All bands are uh, within acceptable ranges. You now the maximum I got there was uh, about 2.0. 2.0 to 1. Um, that's high, but the radio will not shut down at 2.1. And uh, the choke is it's a, it's a 15,000 ohm choke, and it is really stopping um, anything from coming into the shack. So a higher SWR of 2.0 with this choke in line, I'm having no, no issues at all inside the shack. So let's... Uh, Spin the dial around and see see if we can hear somebody. Okay, uh, starting off at 10 meter band, we can hear some CW at 28.298. So we got signals. Uh, we got we got signal coming in there on this band. Okay, here we are in 20 meters. Around 14.020. And uh, we can hear more CW. Well, I'd show you something on uh, 40 meters, but uh, as you can see by the waterfall via the SDR, it's, there's nothing. There's, there's like a couple people talking right here at. Uh, 258. The my antenna's in fed half wave complete setup that I have running. Um, and if there were people on the band, it sure would make a better video. But uh, trust me, I've got. Uh, I've got QSL cards coming in from all over, and uh, 
very happy with it.